This video is for demonstration purpose only. It should not be used for self practice or for any other commercial use. Classical Pilates is best learned under the guidance of a qualified teacher who has done at least a 900 plus hours of comprehensive training program from a reputed school. In today's video, I am going to take you through a simple classical Pilates reformer repertoire to just show you uh, when we talk about classical Pilates is flowing, it's a workout, there is a sequence to it, just to give you an idea of what we mean by that. I'm using the central line reformer and I'll be starting with uh, four springs, that is uh, four green unplated springs which are of heavier resistance. Now the usage of spring is to provide more support to you. The more the spring, the more support you get from the equipment and lesser the springs, the more work you have to do. Uh, so typically a classical Pilates exercise, reformer exercise at any level starts with the footwork. There are four positions of the footwork. I start with the balls of the feet. Uh, all my 10 balls of the feet or the metatarsals are pressing into the foot bar. My heel stays up. It's always in a steady position. And then instead of pushing out from my feet, I use my core that is the entire region from my shoulders to my hips and, to, and then work the carriage out something like this. This is my inhale and then my exhale. I'll just do a couple of reps more in this position of the feet. And then I pick both my legs together and then come on to my arches wherein the feet is like some sort of a uh, position in which it is holding the foot bar or we call it as bird on a perch position. Now from here I'm just going to press out with my back to open the carriage and then exhale to bring it in. I'll just do a couple of times more of this. Next, I transition to the heels position. So my heels are placed onto the foot bar and my feet is flared or it is spawned and the toes are pulling back towards my knees and I'll just do two or three times of this. And then from this, I move on to the balls of the feet position as I started with and this time around the feet will be slightly parallel position. I press out and then I hold everything steady and from here I just lower my heel. So it's not like I'm shoving my heels under, I'm articulating my feet to roll the heels under and pick them up in a similar way. I'll just do a couple of times more of this and now I come back in. The next exercise that comes into sequence is 100. I transition to 100. So the first thing is I need to get my foot bar down. So I take one of my foot under one of the bar of the foot bar. The other goes down and searches for a metal bar. It hooks underneath it and lifts it up towards the black color bar and lowers the entire foot bar down. So I change the equipment without getting off this. Then I lift my hands up, bend at my elbow joint, take the hands behind. So even a simple thing like picking up the handles to transition into the next exercise is an exercise itself. Now from here I transition into my handle, uh, into my hundred. So in one sweeping motion, my hands will go down, I'll come into my upper body curl and then lift my legs to a position wherein I can hold them from my stomach, something like this. And now from here I start pumping for my hundred. One, two, three, four, exhale, one, two, three, four. I'll do just two more breaths. And one more. And then I lower everything down. Now from here, I'm going to transition to overhead. So I'm going to take both the handles in one hand, place one of my hand, the other free hand on the carriage, bend my both the knees to the chest. And in one sweeping motion without pulling the strap, I'm going to tease her up, drop two springs. And then in a similar fashion, I just roll myself down. On my way back, I use my free hand to lower the headrest down. So since I'm going to take my legs over, that neck is going to be an angle. So the headrest has to stay down. Now I take both my handles in one hand. And from here, the movement is, I initiate the movement by using my back, by pressing my entire back into the carriage. And in one sweeping motion, my hands will go down. The legs will lift to go over and then kick it up. And then slowly, roll them down till once as soon as my hip touches my hands lift up. I'll just do a couple of times more. And one last time. 
and now I'm going to transition it to coordination. So as I start lowering down, as soon as my hip touches, I lift my head, bend my elbow and I'm into the coordination position from here. Inhale to straighten the hands and legs out, take the inner thigh away, squeeze the inner thigh towards each other from the hip of the crease, bend the knee and my bend my elbow. I'll just do a couple of reps more. And last one. Now once I'm done this, the next exercise is the rowing series. So I'm going to take both my handles in one hand, teaser up, drop a spring, now keep teasering up and then just swing back to the other side, slide my feet in between the shoulder blocks, get the knuckles right in front of the sternum, push the shoulder blocks out with my feet and then start rolling back, keeping the distance between my knuckle and the sternum, same throughout. Once I have rolled back, now I open my hands to the side without moving the carriage. Now my, I use my triceps and then start lifting up to bring the fingers towards each other and then circle the hands around back to the same position. I'll just do one more of this. Now from here I move on to rowing too. So the elbows are at 90 degree to the wrist. And now from here, I hinge back, roll up, reach up, take the hands towards the heel, start drawing the hands back along the frame, lift up and then circle it around. I'll just do one, one more of it. Now, from here, I just place my handles down, lift up, swing around, and then move back. So you see how I'm trans transitioning from one exercise without changing anything. Now from here, I go on to the teaser three. Lift up, reach up, and then circle it around. One more of this. Now I do the teaser four, sorry, rowing four. Now for the rowing five and six, I have to cross my legs. So I press my knuckles, lift my hips up, cross my legs, place the hands behind and then reach. Now for the next one, I need to uncross cross it the other way, open the hands out to the side and then bring them towards each other. So this is a short routine just to give you an idea as to what classical Pilates exercises or the flowing nature of classical Pilates exercises. In this video you saw how there is a sequence in which the order has to be maintained while doing the classical Pilates repertoire and you saw how without moving out of the equipment, I was able to transition from one exercise to another. So we do typically around an hour of reformer exercise, which is around 60 or 65 exercises in number. And most of them have mainly two or three reps because it's not about the quantity, it's the quality which counts in classical Pilates. And after workout, you have a very sternious workout at the end of an hour. Thank you for watching this video.